while Russia is re-enlisting its aging T-54 55s or continue to test the Object 292. The T-95 super tank project deserves a chance to be reborn. The T-95 tank, also known as Object 195, can become a combat vehicle that gives the Russian army an outstanding advantage because it has many unique technical features compared to the MBTs on the payroll today. The T-95 has a main gun that outperforms US and NATO tanks, providing a longer range. In addition, the digital fire control system and the survivability of the combat crew are also better evaluated. T-95 is a top-secret Russian project, although it has not been announced or put into production, but the information surrounding this super tank model has always had a certain attraction for those who love military technology. The T-95 tank project was developed during the Soviet era, called Object 195, but after the collapse of the Soviet Union, the project's funding was cut off, causing it to be halted for a quite long time. Trials of the full-scale prototype began in 1998. In 2000, it was publicly announced that a new generation main battle tank had been developed in Russia. The goal was to create a new combat vehicle with powerful weapons, better armor protection, and an unmanned turret. Most information about this tank was speculative. Its main weapon is a 152mm smooth bore gun. There is also a secondary 30mm cannon. The T-95 is fitted with a new fire control system, a panoramic commander's periscope with thermal emissor. This gave the tank a hunter-killer engagement capability. It was expected to have a new hydropneumatic suspension with adaptive features, and the entire crew was going to be placed in a sealed compartment inside the hull, isolated from other tank components. The crew of three includes the commander, gunner, and driver. An automatic loader was installed to reduce crew members. To provide the maneuverability required for a modern battlefield, the T-95 is said to have an engine of at least 1,500 horsepower. A potential candidate was the CTD-1250 gas turbine engine with large capacity and stable operation in all trains. The maximum road speed of the T-95 is predicted to be 75 km per hour and 48 km per hour on off-road. Explaining the cancellation of the T-95 project, some military analysts say that the T-95 or Object 195 is the design that has been around for more than two decades. Although at the time, it was an extremely modern and powerful design, the T-95 no longer suited the operational point of view of modern warfare. The T-95 was an extremely complex design and extremely expensive to build, similar to the previous T-64. It is very difficult for the Russian tank industry to cope with this. From another perspective, the massive proliferation of anti-tank weapons, especially anti-tank missiles mounted on combat aircraft, makes the T-95 on the model, well protected, can also be completely destroyed with a single shot from the air. <laughs>